Welcome, my dear students, to this video. This lesson is a continuation of our last lesson on planting operations, where we where you learned things like planting dates, seed rates, spacing, etc. In this video, I will be teaching you nursery practices and how to transplant seedlings from the nursery to the permanent feed. Nursery is a place where seeds that are too tiny to be grown directly in the feed or that cannot withstand the harsh condition, that is the young seedlings cannot withstand the harsh condition of the feeds, they are first grown in the nursery before transplanted to the feed. Now this practice is common with so many crops such as vegetables such as our, our pepper, tomatoes, and some other cash crops such as cocoa, citrus, and the likes. Now, when preparing seed beds, manure are collected from ranch, that is where animals are kept, from people that rear animals. Now, these manures are collected and they are mixed appropriately with the nursery, with the soil that is to be used for nursing the crops. Now, this uh, manure will be mixed with the soil to a considerable amount, and this helps them to grow very well the initial stage that is needed to grow them up to the seedling stage before they are transplanted to the permanent site. Farmers use different methods, anyone that is convenient with them, in growing seedlings. They can be grown in pots, they can be grown in polythene, they can be grown in cartons, in baskets, or seed beds, or ground seed beds can be prepared to nurse crops. Take for instance like this. Now, the farmer is applying manure to the seed bed. The length and the, and the width of the seed bed is according to how it is convenient with the farmer. Now, the farmer can choose to use uh, a meter 0.2 by 7.2 meter. Any method that will be used that can be convenient with the farmer while maintaining the crops is recommended. And when the crops are fully grown, they are transplanted to the feed. Now that is a seed tray with seedlings on it. They have been lost in the nursery. And now they are about to be transplanted to the permanent site where they will grow to maturity. While transplanting seedlings, care should be taken. They should be handled with care because they are still very much fragile. And before you transplant, you water. You water very well before you transplant. This is to enable easy removal of the seedlings from the nursery. And seedlings that are, that are not in good condition, that are not disease free, should not be transferred, should not be transplanted to the permanent site. And while transplanting, optimal space should be given for the vegetables or the seedlings in general to do well in the permanent feed. And do not plant close to where fertilizers are applied, as this can burn the roots out. When you transplant, you could do it with machines, or you can do it manually. And when you are transplanting, you press firmly around the young seedling. The moment you place it, this is to exclude air and to press the soil firmly close to the roots for good root establishment. After transplanting, it is advisable to water adequately. And also, water should not be too much while watering as this can prevent optimum root development and the planting depth is also a, another factor to be considered while transplanting ensure the roots go down well to the soil before you cover up and make sure enough portion of the shoots comes out and when applying fertilizer do not go too close to the crop as this can burn the roots out. 
after the roots after the crops are transplanted in few days the root starts establishing in the permanent site other practices such as mulching that is adding fibrous material other plant material that have been chopped up to the plants so that to control temperature so that the temperature will not be too much for the roots and this can regulate it thank you all for watching and do have a wonderful day